Daniel Laux, I'm engine support engineer. Um, basically, our, our job is going to be not only controlling rules, but also um, allowing, if, if teams are, or engine manufacturers are down on power, um, twice a year, they'll be allowed to re-homologate or redesign fixed parts of their engines in order to, to maintain their competitiveness. Rather than taking the good teams and bringing them down, we take the, the, the manufacturers that, that need that help and bring them up. We're installing torque sensors in the car. Um, so this is the same input shaft that, that every team has. The difference is, is electronics have been installed to allow it to measure the amount of torque um, that is actually passing through the input shaft. So as, uh, as the engine um, sends power to the tires, the, the resistance is basically your, your torque, your input, your horsepower. So what we do is, this input shaft will go in a car just like any other standard car. Um, it's the same size, the same shape. The only difference is, is um, inside the pockets, um, where this would be an open cavity for, for most shafts, um, electronics have been installed. They're actually what amounts to a radio crystal. So the part you see around here is actually an antenna. And then inside their gearbox, they install an antenna ring that slides over. And as um, it rotates, it also, it'll send the, the signal. It'll send basically a, as the, as the shaft twists, the response of the frequency, the crystals, changes frequency. And so we read the, the timing of that through the antenna. It sends it to a controller box. This box is the only part that is extra the teams have to run beyond, the, you know, beyond what they normally run. This actually takes the, the frequency response from the, the shaft, encrypts the data so that it can't be read by anybody other than IndyCar. The engine manufacturers can't see it, the teams can't see it. The information is sent directly to the ECU on its own dedicated communication line. This information is given to us, which what looks like noise, um, but we have special software in our, in our laptops that allow us to decrypt that data, convert it into torque, and well, it also reads temperature as well, so it's temperature compensated. We read the torque, we can infer horsepower from that. And if any manufacturer is more than two and a half percent down on horsepower compared to the other two manufacturers, uh, twice a year they'll be allowed to re-homologate, redesign their parts, resubmit, and come within a half a percent. They can, they're allowed to make up two, two percent of that difference to come within a half a percent. Um, but they won't be allowed to exceed or leapfrog so that we don't have a situation where we constantly have engine manufacturers leapfrogging each other. Open the throttle on your IndyCar experience with IndyCar Mobile. Download IndyCar Mobile now, only from Verizon.